Hello muskies. Uh, welcome to week two of virtual book talks for the 2020-2021 school year. Um, this week I have three books for you that are super popular with students here at the Muskie Library. So if you want one, come down and get it soon or you can place the book on hold using our Destiny catalog and we will get it to you when it comes available. The first book I have for you today is one of my personal favorites, Speak by Lori Halsey Anderson. So Melinda's administrators tell her to speak up for yourself. We want to know what you have to say. But from her first moment as a freshman at Meriwether High School, Melinda knows that's a big fat lie and part of the nonsense of high school. She is a friendless outcast, all because she busted an end of the summer party by calling the cops. Now no one will talk to her, let alone listen to her. And as time passes, she becomes increasingly isolated and practically stops talking altogether. She becomes selectively mute. Only her art class offers her any kind of comfort, and as she works through an art project, she's finally able to face what really happened to her. She was raped by an upperclassman at the party, a guy who still attends the same high school she does and is still a threat to her. Her healing process is just beginning when at the end there's another violent encounter, but this time Melinda fights back and refuses to be silent. This is one of my all-time favorite books, and upperclassmen here at Muscatine know that I book talk at the beginning of every single school year. It's a fantastic read, especially for anyone who's struggling to fit in for any reason. The main character, Melinda, struggles with mental illness because of her sexual assault, but she really speaks for any disenfranchised teenager while demonstrating the importance of speaking up for yourself. The next book I have for you today is The Crossover, graphic novel version by Kwame Alexander. So Kwame Alexander is a fantastic author. Everything he writes is gold. Uh, the Crossover was one of his first novels and one of his most well-known books, and this is the graphic novel version of his novel in verse. With a bolt of lightning on my kicks, the court is sizzling, my sweat is drizzling, stop all that quivering because I'm delivering, raps 12-year-old Josh Bell. Thanks to his dad, he and his twin brother Jordan are kings on the basketball court. But Josh has more than basketball in his blood. He's got mad beats too, which help him find his rhythm when it's all on the line. So this book allows you to see the Bell family in a whole new light with dynamic illustrations as the two Bell brothers winning season unfolds and the world as they know it begins to change. I already book talked the original version of the crossover during quarantine this spring, but the graphic novel brings the story even more to life and makes it more accessible to all readers even those who prefer to have books with pictures. The illustrations are really amazing and I'll put a link below to a video that shows you inside of the book. The last book I'm gonna to recommend to you this week is 10 by Gretchen McNeil. And this is a book that many of you should write down because it is the genre, horror, mystery, and thriller that we get asked for recommendations about the most. 10 teens, three days, and one killer. It was supposed to be the weekend of their lives, an exclusive house party on Henry Island, but best friends Meg and Minnie are looking forward to two days of booze, boys, and fun-filled luxury. But what starts out as fun turns twisted after the discovery of a DVD with a sinister message, vengeance is mine, and things only get worse from there. With a storm raging outside, the teens are cut off from the outside world, so when a mysterious killer begins picking them off one by one, there's no escape. As the deaths become more violent and the teens turn on one another, Meg must find the killer before more people die, or is the killer closer to her than she ever could have imagined. This book is a retelling of a classic Agatha Christie novel, an awesome mystery with lots of twists and turns. It's a great book for anyone, especially those of you who've come into the library looking for mystery, horror, or thriller books. Again, all three of these books are available in the Muskie Library. Stop down and check one out or place one on hold and we'll get it to you when it's available. Both our virtual and hybrid students have the option of using our book dash service. I'll put links down below in the description. And I'll be back again next week with three more books. Again, if you have any recommendations or looking for anything special, please let me know. And as always, leave a comment below and let me know what you're reading.